Right, so the glycoconjugate, proteoglycans, glycoproteins, and glycosphingolipids. So, like we studied the starch glycogen, dextrin, cellulose, as well chitin, chitin, and peptidoglycans, right? So, we know the roles of the starch glycogen, dextrin, was the fuel stores, right? They are serving as a fuel storage. And for the cellulose, chitin, or proteoglycans, they serve as a structural materials. But like polysac polysaccharides and oligosaccharides are also information carriers as well. So these guys are also information carriers. It does not serve only as a fuel store or also as a structural material, but it does as serves as a uh, information carrier. So like what, for example, so some provide communication between cells and their extracellular surroundings. So like we will draw this like. So what this provide, like for example, our body is like a um, factory or like, right, or an industry. So this, what are the role or duties of the glycoconjugate proteoglycans or the glycosphingolipids are one is, it's between the cell, communication between the cell and then extracellular surrounding. As you know, so like, for example, like this is a cell, right? This is a cell that's an outside of the cell that is ECM, extracellular matrix, and here is the inside of the cell, and this is a cell wall, right? This is a cell wall, for example. So, the carbohydrates are outside of the cell. It's like something like this. The one part is inside and the other part is outside. So, it's attached like proteoglycans, glycoproteins, or glycospingolipids, right? Okay, so, the role of this glycoconjugates are the one, the first is they communicate, they provide a communication between the extracellular, between the cell and the extracellular surrounding, right? So the first duty of this glycoconjugates is uh, pro provide communication means communication between cell and extracellular right i will just extracellular matrix right or the extracellular surrounding the second duty is they also label the proteins label they label the they label the proteins for transport to and localization in specific organisms as well so what, what why they label the protein so the proteins that is made inside the cell in one of the organelles. So that can be transported to and to the specific organelle, right? So that helps transport of protein from one organelle, transport of protein from one organelle to another, one organelle to another, right? That's the second duty. The other duty is if one, like, wait, so they label the protein for transportation and they also label the protein for destruction as well if there is any protein malfunction, right? For destruction if protein are malfunction. Right? If the protein are bad or some malformed or more superfluous, right? So these are the two duties and the third is they also provide serves as a recognition site for an extracellular signal molecules, right? So this serves as recognition, cognition for the extracellular parasites as well. So when there is any bacteria or parasite that invade in our body, so this glycoconjugates can recognize it, right? Any bacteria or viruses, right? So these are the few duties of the glycoconjugate. There are others as well. So like in almost every eukaryotic cell, specific oligosaccharides, Chains attached to the components of the plasma membrane form a carbohydrate layer, the glycocalyx, right? So when we'll study the cell, 
If you remember the first when we studied the cell membrane, we studied about the glycocalyx, right? That are protruded outside of the cell. So these are the several nanometers thick, and this serves as an information-rich surface that the cell shows it to its surrounding, right? So the outside of the cell. So it might be here, like glycocalyx, right? And this is like few nanometers thick. And this is the information which surface of the cell that the cell shows to its surroundings. So what, what it does for, uh, for the function. So it's like this oligosaccharides are central players in cell to cell recognition. So the function of this is main cell to cell recognition. Recognition, right? and additions as well and when the cell migration during development right so the function of black like, okay, cell to cell recognition addition right we want cell migration during the development so this help migration during development right there is blood clotting, immune response, wound healing, and other cellular process that helps the glycocalyx that helps in all other processes, right? In most of these cases, the informational carbohydrate is covalently joined to a protein or a lipid to form a glycoconjugate right? in the glycocalyx. So most of the cases, the informational carbohydrate is joined covalently to a protein or a lipid, right? That might be a protein, uh, glycoprotein or glycosphingolipid, which is biologically an active molecule. So the proteoglycans are macromolecules of the cell surface of the extra or of the cell surface or the extracellular matrix in which one or more sulfate and glycosaminoglycan chains are joined covalently to a membrane protein or a secreted protein. Right. So you can see the picture that I just draw simple, but like you can see a more specific or more detailed image. Of this like you can see the proteoglycan that is protruding outside of the cell membrane and it has an heparin sulfate or chondroitin sulfate right so this is how proteoglycans so they what are they they are macromolecules of the cell surface or the extracellular matrix <coughs> sorry in which one or more sulfated glycosaminoglycan chains are joined global and to a membrane protein or a secreted protein so they are joined by a one or more sulfated glycosaminoglycan chains, right? By covalent bond. So the glycosaminoglycan chains can bind to an extracellular protein through electro. So how they bind to an extracellular protein? So through an electrostatic at interaction between the protein and a negatively charged sugar moieties on the proteoglycan. Or the proteoglycans are major components of all the extracellular matrices. So the proteoglycan is the major component of extracellular matrices. Proteoglycans are the major component of extracellular matrices or matrix, right? Glycoproteins. So this was proteoglycan. So glycoproteins, as you can see in the image, have one or several oligosaccharides of varying complexity joined covalently to a protein so they are usually found on the outer surface of the plasma membrane correct as a part of glycocalyx in the extracellular matrix and in the blood as well but inside the cell as well they are found in a specific organelle such as golgi complexes right secretory granules and lysosomes so the glycocalyx it's found outside of the outside of the cell that is in ECM or in the blood but it is also found it in the cells as well in the organelle some of the like glycocomplex or Golgi complexes secretory granules and lysosomes so the oligosaccharide portion of the glycoprotein the oligosaccharide right the carbohydrate portion of the glycoprotein are very heterogeneous and like glycose aminoglycans are rich in information forming high specific sites for recognition and high affinity binding by carbohydrate binding protein called lactanes, right? And some cytosolic and nuclear proteins can be glycosylated as well. The last one is the glycospingolipids. 
These are the plasma membrane components in which hydrophilic head groups are oligosaccharide, right? The hydrophilic head that loves water, they are oligosaccharide. As in the glycoprotein, the oligosaccharide act as a specific site for recognition by lactins. Right, neurons are rich in glycosphingolipids, right? Neurons are rich in glycosphingolipids. So, rich in glycosphingolipids, right? And what, what's, what it does, it helps in nerve conduction and myelin formation. So, it helps in nerve conduction and myelin formation that's a myelin shape right and glycosphingolipid also play a role in signal transduction in cells right so this is just an introduction of proteoglycans glycoproteins and sphingolipids I guess so that was just an introduction of the like, conjugates so I'm not going really in depth this, this will be a, just a really small video not making a, a 20 minutes video right so that was just a basic information or that's a basic introduction for the glycoconjugates that is uh, proteoglycans glycoproteins and glycospingolipids so we'll see in the next video we'll see we'll go more deep into this proteoglycans all right Thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe the channel.